the biggest concern is that they get wet. You know, you can have moisture inside of them. And all of that moist, damp air comes right up through the floorboards in the house. And you're breathing that air directly on the first floor of the house. Traditionally, these crawl spaces were built with venting systems in them. Because the theory was, well, you have this damp space, so you should be allowing air to circulate through it. I don't think anybody ever really thought it clearly through that in the wintertime, you're allowing cold air to blow into this crawl space, where in many cases, people have their HVAC systems and, and their heating systems. So you have very cold floors upstairs because the downstairs space is extremely cold. If you're using a hot air system, those duct work pieces that are underneath the floor are all getting cold, so the machine has to work that much harder to develop warm space above. And then in the summertime, it's a cool, damp, humid spot, so we've developed a system called Clean Space. And what Clean Space is, is it's actually a liner, like a pool liner, that we adhere to the walls and across the floor, which allows us to separate the building above from the damp earth below. And we can use this system in conjunction with a drainage system and pumping systems as we do in basements. We also use it in conjunction with a list of materials that help us to insulate that crawl space so that now the entire space is conditioned and insulated from the walls and the floor upward. The last step to a crawl space encapsulation is dehumidification. And if that space below the first floor is dry and conditioned and free of any excess moisture and dampness, all the air that comes upstairs is going to be clean and dry, which makes it much more efficient to heat or air condition. Never mind the health benefit of having clean, dry air in your house.